The following is a quick demonstration of how to set up pen settings in Auto, AutoCAD 2017. I'm on the home page here, and I'm just going to quickly start a brand new AutoCAD drawing using these existing templates. And then what we're going to use here is called the No Template Imperial. Imperial meaning at expecting feet and inches. I'm going to confirm it expects feet and inches by typing units. Under Imperial, you just need to set this here to anticipate architectural units whenever you're typing. So feet and inches is respected. Got a little drawing here of uh, three lines on different layers. Layer called red, yellow, and green. Those layers are listed here. I also have a layer called depth points. Depth points does not print. So this rectangle here is on depth points. If I type LA for layers, it launches the layer dialog box here. And you'll notice here under red, I set it up to be hidden line style. So it should show up dashed. Currently it does not. It's showing up solid. If I take a look at my layout tab here in paper space, you'll see my image is here on the screen and that is showing up dashed. But currently, this doesn't have any information about what scale I want to print this at. So I'm going to click on this M view here and tell it in this menu to be a quarter inch scale. So when it prints, it'll print it at a quarter inch scale. If I double click inside here, I'm now in model space as if I'm clicking on the, the model tab. If I double click outside of here or simply type PS in paper space again, where I can move the paper but not the drawing, look out for this little icon here that tells you where you're working. This is the paper space icon. Double click, that icon disappeared. Therefore, you're in model space. You see X and Y right here. Never work here. Type PS. You should be working here. So notice at a quarter inch scale, this line type is showing up correctly in paper space. Paper space is accurate. But if I go to model space, it is not accurate. Therefore, we need to tell model space that that line is supposed to be at a quarter inch scale because that's where I'll be printing this. So you simply type LT scale and you enter the number of the line type scale factor, which is the scale of the drawing you want to print at times LT scale equals 12. So LT scale in this case is 48 because 48 times a quarter equals 12. So if I type 48, now model space understands the line type scale and this line type will show up correctly because it expects to be printed at a quarter inch scale. But if you go back to the paper space tab, you'll notice that it's off. Suddenly, paper space is incorrect now. So you need to program AutoCAD to have the line type show correctly in model space and paper space. And you do that with a couple commands. MSLT scale is the model space scale factor set to one. The answers can be one and zero. Set it to one, it's turned on. This is correct. If you, pop, if you type PSLT scale, paper space LT scale, this should be turned off. This should be zero. That will tell paper space to look at model space for the LT scale. So when you look here, suddenly it's still incorrect, but you have to refresh the model space window. Double click inside, type RE, it refreshes the screen. And again, get out of this place as soon as you do any work inside the model space window. Double click outside or type PS. So that's set up. Now, paper space and mouse space look exactly the same because those settings have been set up in AutoCAD. Next, we're going to right click on the layout tab and go to the page setup manager. 
and we're going to make a, a new layout tab. I believe this is currently ANAFY 11. So I'm going to make a new style called ANAFY 11. And here I'll print it to a my PDF writer, uh, AutoCAD PDF general documentation. Here it's ANAFY 11. It's going to be tall. And you'll notice in here they also have landscape or horizontal layout, which is what I'm going to use. It's horizontal, 11 long, 8.5 tall. Nothing else has changed on this screen, but here I need to tell AutoCAD to set up the pen settings, the plot style table. So I'm going to make a new plot style design. I'm going to start from scratch. Hit next, I'm going to call it, call it demo. Hit next, and hit the plot style table editor button. And here I tell these colors in AutoCAD to become a certain color when they print. I'm only using the first three colors, so I'm going to select red and make it black when it prints. I'm going to say yellow, make it black when it prints. Green, make it black when it prints. You can do the same thing by holding down uh, control, and I'll select more than one. I'll grab the first one, and I'm going to make the line weight really thin, like a 0.15. That's for red. I'm going to take color number two when it prints and make it maybe a 0.5, which is kind of thick. I'm going to take a green. Again, it's going to print black. A line, type, line weight, I'm going to make it really, really thick, like a one, which is extra thick. And I'm going to save this as a file called demo CTB. This is the plot styles AutoCAD already has loaded in it. I'm going to save it. Then I'm going to save and close this window and finish. And I'm back here to the page setup menu. I'm going to turn on display plot styles here. And hit OK. And close this window. You'll notice here that nothing happens. Although you have set up these colors to be printing in black. If you double click here and refresh the screen or RE, you'll notice nothing happens either. So I want this preview to show me the line weights. Because currently, the only way to see the line weights is to right click on the layout tab, do a plot using your page setup, which was a NAP by 11 here, using this style and that line weight, give me a preview, and you'll notice here, it shows me the line weights here. Thin, bold, extra bold. And also this, this rectangle here is appearing. I'm gonna hit escape. So I'm gonna click on this end view here. And you'll notice that this MVU here is currently on layer zero. Layer zero will print. So if I don't want to see this rectangle, I have to come into here and put it on the depth points layer. And if I do a little preview again, if I do a little plot with this style called ANAP by 11, you'll notice that rectangle does not print. It's on the depth points layer. And again, you can see the line weights here, thin, medium, extra, extra thick here at the bottom. But I'd like those pen settings to show up here in paper space so I don't have to test the plot. So to do that, you type line weight command. And in the line weight command, you click on this button here that says display line weights. And you hit OK. And then you have to refresh the model space window. Type MS or double click and type refresh or RE. Oh, and don't forget to assign your pen settings here or your, uh, your page setup. Currently page setup here is using layout. That's not the style I want. I want ANAP by 11 to be current. So you have to highlight it and set it to be current. And close and now it's displaying what you expected the line which is showing up here extra fine bold extra bold 
and death points will show up here until you print. Then death points disappears. So now when you go to Pay Setup Manager and you take a look at your ANF by 11 style by modifying it, you'll see it's still looking for my pen settings. If these pen settings are missing, then you have to put your file back into the right folder. Styles Manager is a folder where all of AutoCAD's pen settings are located. And there's a file called Demo. It must be on the computer you're working on. If this file is missing, delete, then AutoCAD will not print the right pen settings. If you modify in FI11 again, you'll notice that the file is missing. You can try to do a preview, and you can see what happens here. Your plot style settings don't exist on this computer. So you have to put your plot style file, your CTP file, into AutoCAD on the computer you're working on. Hit escape. So luckily, I have a backup here. I have it in another folder. I'm going to copy my backup file called demo CTB. I'm going to type styles manager in AutoCAD. And I'm going to right click and paste my demo file back into this folder. Now that it exists, I can then try to print from AutoCAD this style called 8 by 8 and a half by 11, make it current, modify it, and you'll see it finds the CTP file because it's in your folder. Without it, you will not be able to print with the right pen settings. Now I want to do a preview. Everything shows up correctly. These line widths seem to be off. These are all the same thickness. So that is a CTP problem. So let's check what's happening here. F11, here, call number one is, you see call number one here, it's black, is a, is a one millimeter. Color two is the same, color three is the same. There must have been a problem when the original file was saved. My backup file was saved prematurely. So all you have to do is tell one to be 0.15. Tell two to be whatever you like, whatever the assignment dictates. Color number three, for example, is really thick. Save this as your CTB file. Mine is called demo. So now it's been overwritten. It has the latest updates. These pen settings have been set up for all the three colors that I'm using. When I save and close, I'm back to here and I do a preview and you'll see they work just fine. Extra fine, bold, extra bold is working just fine. Hit escape to get out of there. And now you can use that CTB file from printing any drawing that has these three colors and you can predict what line weights those colors will become. Thank you, that's all for now.